Now, I think in our playthrough so far, it is definitely up to debate whether or not we've had any truly evil characters. We have had characters who have certainly done very evil things, but for <sighs> reasons that in their mind were certainly justifiable. Let's go all the way back to our first character, right? You've got Merrick. He was a guy who was, who was, who was effectively disinherited, right? Denied his birthright. Even though he was a ruthless man, he did it for reasons that were justified in his mind. And sorry, a murderer through and through took out his enemies, but he was doing it to build his dynasty. Even Merrick, who was uh, quite literally an impaler, an awful man, again, did it for did, did it for his dynasty, did it to build up his realm, did whatever he could to try and take back what he was owed, complain his grandfather's legacy, getting that sword back, of course he didn't succeed. And then the last character was uh, fairly innocuous all round, really. He enjoyed a little bit of a hunt before he died tragically at the age of 46 after being assassinated. And now we've got our current character, Lord Robinrick, who may be, in my opinion, for the first time ever, a truly uh, dislikable, evil character. Honest. Honesty is a virtue, unless you're using it to be very blunt and offensive and mean to people, right? This character is impatient. He's not going to... He's not going to wait for things to happen. He wants good things as soon as they can happen, right? Paranoid and callous implies that he doesn't get along with anybody. This guy is, very much as the game has described him there, an irrational villain through and through. This might be the first time I get an excuse to play a truly evil character. Now, there was a comment that, uh, that, that always resonates with me whenever I see it. Somebody said, just don't go for the kind of blobbing strategy. Play this character, and that's always the goal I have, right? It's I couldn't think of anything more boring in Crusader Kings than just to uh, turn the map from one color to the other. What's the point of taking all of these realms and domains if you don't have an interesting story along the way? You've also got to bear in mind, in the Game of Thrones world especially, big social upheaval is normally the beginning of the end. Look at the TV series, and even in the books, ever since uh, ever since the Iron Throne was founded, it's been non-stop Targaryens, the same dynasty for hundreds of years. The fact that our dynasty is on the Iron Throne at this point is is like unprecedented, quite literally unprecedented. We've already done a lot. I might just enjoy the character, a real piece of shit, impatient, awful paranoid man imagine this guy in tournaments cheating doing whatever he can for victory and prestige sort of what his father wanted but this kid has got such a skewed worldview as the result of his father's ambition that i think we could do something really interesting with him and maybe sure maybe he does become skilled and talented maybe someone leans on his ear maybe he does decide i'm the head of house gossip i should have the throne and with this character i could certainly justify that but at least until his earlier years I think we just see how it goes, and I think we just enjoy this time as a truly villainous man. We'll set up the council with whoever is the best possible, because again, he's self-serving. He's callous, and he's honest. He wants the best people, because that benefits him the most. So forget about doing the right thing and landing. You know, certain vassals will, of course, demand council positions. Forget them. We want what is best. If we put, because this kid is going to end up being Marshall. Oh, that's right. Uh, a couple of people pointed out in the comments that I did set this kid up originally as Intrigue. And we dodged a bullet there. Even though his Intrigue is going to be good because of all these other, you know, callous and paranoid and blah, blah, blah. He, uh, we, we had a character trait fire yesterday that I agreed to, which swapped him from Intrigue to Marshall. He had a passion for fencing, I think someone said. So that makes, that, that makes sense. And again, we've re really dodged a bullet with that. And I'm very glad of it. Let's put our Castellan to a Marshall character so that we can get that Marshall lifestyle experience. 15% every month. This kid could be uh, could be quite good. And again, I think with this guy as well, I want an excuse really to, not that we can see it yet, explore those other focuses from the additional focuses mod, which I think would be kind of fun. Um, yeah, no, let's just ensure that we've got order going. Disrupt schemes. This kid is going to be hyper paranoid because his father was assassinated. So absolutely constantly on uh, disrupt schemes and uh, keep the order win over our our allies and or try and win over allies for us just keep the council locking down the realm no more assassinations and let's just see how he comes out i'm very excited to see this who is your who's your guardian right now sorry um i think you've actually got one right oh he's got a crush on someone who is that orana goshawk oh good the apple does not fall far from the tree he has a crush on his cousin welcome to rimworld <laughs> Oh, of course we can get back to Twitch game. Sorry, for those of you who don't watch Rimworld, it's because in Rimworld, the guy married his daughter. And normally I say in Rimworld, when something like that happens, welcome to Crusader Kings. Uh, <laughs> it's nice that we flipped the script for a change. Beko. Beko, my friend. Skilled tactician. Average learning, but he's a very good swordsman. 
Blade Master, Skill Tactician. I think he's got to be the guy, right? Um, unless we've got someone who's also... Artos is fine. Hmm. Brentford Tasker has Brilliant General, but again, is less skilled. I'm going to go for Beko. No converting culture, no converting faith. People have uh, reminded me, don't forget to meet your peers whenever that is an option. Do we do that from... I think it pops up and actually says meet your peers as like an actual... Um, as an actual decision that comes up, right? But either way, I will keep an eye out for it. Is there anything else we can do at this point? I don't believe so. I think we are totally fine. Oh, Court Shooter. Ah, Court Shooter is a bloody good call. Okay, let's have a look then. Just make sure that we've actually got that position filled in. Um, Court Shooter, we've got Samian. Attitude Average. Let me see if there's anyone better. Attitude Poor. Oh, dear. And what is that based on? That's based on uh, learning. You'd assume learning, but he's got 27 learning. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, there's that um, there's that Royal Court Explain mod, isn't there, that tells you what the breakdown is. I'm just going to go look this up because I want this kid to come out incredible. Okay, so it's actually very, very similar to uh, to CK2. So it's it's learning by... Uh, so you get plus 25 by default, plus 2.5 per learning level. In Crusader Kings, I, it was more dependent on the actual stat that you were going into. That doesn't really matter too much. Shrewd, patient, quick, intelligent, or genius. And plus 20 or 15 points in every skill. That's good. So just a kind of general skill too. But learning is the most important factor. Uh, they lose points for being reclusive or shy. Okay. Um... Well, we could always try and hire a new court tutor. Uh, and why not keep firing this decision whenever it's it's off of cooldown? Same with the Caravan Master. That can lead to some good courtiers, right? Keep firing them whenever we possibly can. Ah, shit. Maybe even a court physician. Because we don't have to pay money to search for them. We only have to pay money when we hire them. So if only a better, then of course we'll take them. If not, no harm, right? What have you got? 27 and you're intelligent. Okay, you are already, I think, better than the other guy. Robert Whitrose. 85 gold. This is why I want to save all that money in the um, in the coffers. And then we've got, as for court physician, we've got Donal, who's okay. Very, very good entry character. Uh, or Manfrey. No, both failed to impress me. Sorry. And then, oh, it's the same people again for Caravan Master. How bizarre. I wonder if it's because they're already valid candidates in court, so the game didn't generate new characters. That's on me. Next time, I'll stagger it a little bit. Um, honestly, this guy's interesting, but not super relevant. Let's see if that new guy is better then. In theory, he should be, because he's intelligence, huh? Uh, Roberts. Aptitude, excellent. Oh, yeah, look at that. Patient, intelligent scholar. That is so good. That was a good decision. Very happy with that right off the bat here. Um, is there anything else we can do that's relevant? I mean, obviously, we need a court physician, so we'll make our mace to court physician. That's appropriate and correct. Um, Master of the Hunt. Actually, uh, this character could be quite good at that. Could be quite good at that. Now, here's the other thing. Look at this. Sworn Shields have a chance to prevent assassination murder schemes. This guy would absolutely want Sworn Shields. He's paranoid, and his father was assassinated. So this is just uh, something we definitely should do. We need better people for this, given that it's probably based on martial and uh, probably personal combat predominantly, right? But no valid candidates for all of these, really. Wow. Um, personal champion can take your place in certain duels. Beko, please do, my friend. Absolutely. Um, Master of Arms. Not really worth it right now. Courtsmith, Antiquarian Master of the Hunt, Seneschal. Um, what, is it, what, it, what benefits do we get from that? Minister and Servants keeping household things. Uh, my mother? That's okay. We can afford this. We might as well spend the money on something while this kid is growing up. The best, best outcomes possible, right? Okay. Okay, I'm more optimistic. If this kid gets that level four martial education... We immediately head to the university, and there is a pretty good chance with the amount of money we've got in our pocket here that we can level up to level 5. Again, something I've never seen before. My knight, Daron, has instructed me to clean his armor. So I enter the armor, and I find his armor is completely covered in mud. It will take me an entirety of the afternoon to kill this up. Um, well, threaten a servant to clean the armor for you. We lose trait experience. Oh, God. Impatient, paranoid, impatient. Okay, do it. Does this kid want to be a knight? Well, it definitely serves him. Do we like the guy? I think we'll stick with it for the timing. Let's just suffer through. Patient, paranoid, callous. Yeah, don't threaten anyone else. You might make an enemy. Yeah, definitely not. We don't want to, we don't want to make enemies here. We've got to keep our, keep our head down and stay as safe as possible. Can't hope we can become a knight before we hit our education. I presume it might give a bonus. Uh, hello. Robert has been teaching me Valerian. He's doing his job well. Yes, he is. Thank you. This is what Becco speaks, apparently. Because he's uh, Bravosi, right? Becco. Oh, hello. 
Lorena has given me a collection of obscure historical anecdotes of past kingdoms and obscure treaties. She wants me to always be mindful of the real truths and obfuscation through flawed historical records to uphold our family value. Be an example to House Gosshawk. We gain a leather-bound artifact. Oh, gains intrigue artifact one modifier. Intrigue plus one. How interesting. Okay. Uh, we, we got some sort of additional book from that. Oh, I forgot that we have that book as well that gives 15% martial lifestyle experience. Oh, shit. That's amazing. From our trip to university, right? <laughs> leather-bound book gives intrigue and learning. Okay, well, that's... Pretty good. Sorry, I'm suppressing hiccups. You, under you understand by this point if you watch more than one episode, I'm sure. Hello. The life and duties is a squire. Oh, for God's sake, help the weak. We can't help every beggar we see. Do it, do it just to deceive him. You're not necessarily deceitful, but... I've got to play the character. I'm sorry. There is no reason you would ever pick this. There is no downside to it other than playing the character. He would not help a beggar. He is a callous, honest man, and he's not going to lie to his guy and say, I'm how I'm oh, I'll help that beggar, sir. No. He would spit on him from a great height, and then he would move on with his life. Hello. My brother-in-law of The Rock. We could potentially form an alliance with him. Lord Arston. Oh, my God. My uncle is House Frey. Okay. Uncle-in-law. Sorry. Uncle-in-law. Married to my, my, my blood aunt. That's good. Um, what else have we got here? Bertram Strongarm. It's your brother-in-law, Uncle Eric. Uncle Eric. <laughs> um, nothing yet. Obviously, they're not going to form alliances until we can be a bit more useful. They've got absolutely no benefits to that. They're just defending a child. So, we'll stick with it. Oh, my windmills. Hello. Let's get the outliner back open here. This is good. Um, Lord Anseric is dead, so I think we can unpin him. River Queen Jania is certainly my... My uh, biggest, uh, what's the word? Suspicion for the, the the murderer of our father. Oh, God, especially because she likes to burn a lot of people. Lots of executions, though. No direct murders. She was rivals with, with our previous character after he took all her land, right? She had a very, very strong reason to have him killed. I'm going to take her off the list for now. We know where she lives. We don't have to keep her tracked. Your great-grandfather, King Noel. Wow, that's a cool relationship. Great grandfather, the man is 86. Jesus. Remember when we were close to getting the veil because we were going to inherit it down this line through my mother? Damn. In fact, we still, in theory, could because we are uh, we're a descendant of House Aaron and mothers in Aaron, right? Damn. That's interesting. Okay. Could potentially do something with that, but we'll keep an eye on it. And then King Bernard, who is that? Of the Reach. Got up to a tournament. That's okay. I'm not really bothered about you. Good. Realm seems fine. Good Knight needs patience. Absolutely not. He is not a patient person, so I'm going to refuse that. If he becomes a knight, it's through his own... It's through his own decisions and his own way of going about things. Oh, shit. Hello. Oh, my God. We finished our education. Okay. Okay. Hold on. You became the head of Crown Lander Culture. With the help... Brilliant General. Is that... Oh! Hello there. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I'm so happy to see it. And skilled fighter. Oh, my God. Aggressive attacker. That suits him so well. Holy shit. With the help of Becco, I have achieved an understanding of warfare that far exceeds that of any of my peers. Even though I had a natural inclination towards the subject, my master is still an achievement. My nightly training alongside has proven successful. I've slain numerous bandits despite my youth. As I take my first steps into adulthood, I find myself reminiscing about some of the people who have made an impact on me. Brilliant. Okay. After inheriting my talent in my lands, it's clear I no longer can remain a squire. In order to meet the demands of social pressure, I should look into becoming a knight as soon as possible. Apparently, we've already done it. Command my knight to make me a knight. Or make a vassal knight me. Um, is it, okay. Command a knight in my court to knight me. I will not pursue knighthood anymore. Well, the vassal in the court is a uh, higher prestige. Okay. Yeah, and I think as a callous man, you'd have no love for your knight. Whatever. Boom. God, look at him. What an arrogant, awful piece of shit. Oh, he's perfect. 20 Marshall. I'm happy with that. My God, brilliant general, aggressive attacker, skilled fighter, knight. Holy crap. This is so good. So I feel like we probably should go down the gallantry first and then come into the prowess lifestyle trees afterwards. Because we get so much more martial experience, we can certainly tidy up gallant pretty fast. Maybe even Overseer in his later years might make a lot of sense as such a paranoid, callous, honest man. You know, he'd have no problem at all putting his peasants to work or extorting them or anything like that if he believed it was for his own good, right? Chivalry focus, yes. Uh, no, he's not chivalrous. Authority focus. Ah. 
Victory comes through not blood or gold, but honor. He does not believe that at all. I do want the prowess, though. How much am I going to play the character? Am I even going to lean into the descriptors of the art lifestyle focuses? Oh, God. We'll take chivalry on the surface. Again, he's not necessarily deceitful, but uh, certainly he would want to win and prove how much of a mighty knight he is. Again, it's what his father was obsessed with, prestige and glory, and then, you know, became a lunatic after all of that failed. Really suffered the consequence of not achieving that. Host a hunt? No. Immediately score yourself off to university. Run like the wind. Get down to the starry sept. Get yourself educated. Dangers along the way? Non-existent. Wow, it's bloody safe to travel, isn't it? This time, I might take some... I might take some alternate paths. Look, why is it dodging the red keep? Go to the red keep. So where are we going then? Let me... Let me yeah, obviously study hard. Absolutely. Maximum study materials. Absolutely. What are the dangers along the way? Hills? It's worth paying the money just to have dodge those, I suppose. And then that minor one I'm not bothered by. Let me go ahead and customize the route here then. So we're going to leave from Rosby. And we're coming down past here. We're dodging Tumbleton for whatever reason, but I want to go there. There we are. Get some stewardship lifestyle experience. Come down to Caswell Keep. Visit, uh, yeah, detour after Tumbleton to there. That seems good. Because there's no time limit on going here. Right? We come down through here. Is there anything nearby? No, not really. Not really much to see in the reaches there. Okay. Then we go to the Sept, and then on the way out from the Sept, we'll go via Old Town. Come back up and around. We could take a detour over there. I think that's a little bit a little bit unnecessary. Come back up through the Red Keep, obviously. Pop in, say hello to the king. Say hello to our, what, nephew at this point? And then come back to Rosby. I think that's all good. The king would want to see us. We're his most powerful vassal. We're also the head of our house and the head of our culture. So absolutely, he'd want to come and see us. I think that's fine. It's not a massive deed, so we're not going to get a huge amount of benefits from it, but it's something. Go. Get out. Let's go see. So who is it? Oh, it's my cousin. Oh, that's an even better. That's an even closer relation. That's good. Uh, though technically not. You're more closely related to me, your nephew, than you are your cousin, right? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, I hate traveling. Delayed for five days because of muddy roads. What a shame. Oh, Master of Arms. Greetings, cousin. Absolutely, cousin. No problem. That gives us more martial lifestyle experience. This kid has the potential to be monstrous. Very high hopes. Uh, greetings, my impressive liege. Let us formalize the ties that already bind us together and form an alliance. Could be dangerous, but it will keep him in line. It will stop him joining factions or anything like that. Could be dangerous if he does get a little bit rebellious. Well, let's head over. Let's get on with it. Look at that. Absolutely flying down the road. Uh, oh, an auspicious dream about traveling. Very good. There is a knight errant. Uh, really nice armor you have there. Care to share a coin? Because we are callous. Give me some uh, give me give me some money right now. And we're going to be late. But that doesn't matter at all, because there's no time limit on this, right? A level of dedication to your faith. Really? Huh. So as being a knight, an honest knight is all they really care about. Ignore the fact that he is a piece of shit. Say a quick prayer, then move on. Spend several days in prayer. Um Paranoid. He could fear the gods. I mean, the, the, the whole dynasty hasn't been particularly religiously inclined. It's all been very, very cynical. Doesn't mean that this kid has to be necessarily. Say a quick prayer and move on. Let's just meet them in the middle. If, if, if there's some sort of development on that front, I'm happy to go with it. That seems fine. And we got the traveler trait. And here we are. Finally here, walking the hallowed halls of the Starry Sept. Time to get started. Ah, oh, yes, good. Finally got some water. <laughs> After three days at university. Very good. Okay, no matter what. 0% chance of our university visit becoming more massively successful. We could try and destroy Jason with facts and logic. Quote from the game directly there. Uh, Furiously scribbles notes. This kid should take on the stress. He's impatient. He wants it now at the cost of his own mental or physical health. That's fine. Yes. Scribble those notes. Oh, this is going to drive him insane, isn't it? Oh, Lord. Come on. You've got to be a bit more studious than that. Volunteer to help. Absolutely. Lose the prestige. We are impatient. We want to be the best as fast as possible. Do it. Ooh, we also gained a dynasty legacy. Oh, and he learned Valyrian. Wow, Becco must have come with us. Very good. Or maybe he picked up some final few things here from the Starry Sept. Feel accomplished. Very good. That's nice. Teaching at the Starry Sept takes place in the most part uh, in the oral form, and students are encouraged to exercise their rhetorical prowess. 50% chance we can... 
God damn, this might stress him out. It's a 50-50. Either way, we're going to become more successful, but one outcome is much more successful. The other outcome is slightly, but with more stress. You lost the debate. Okay. Perhaps a new view of the seven who are one will help me become Baylorism. Venerates King Baylor. Baylor the Blessed, that is, is an avatar of the seven. Um, no, they consider us a stray. It's not necessarily bad. No, bite your lips, stay focused. You're, you're supposed to be impatient here. You're supposed to be impatient. Stick with it. Keep your head down. Shut up. Get on with it. What have we got here in the decisions tab? Have we got any way we can... No, he hasn't got any traits currently that allow us to dump some stress, but that's all right. So we've got a low chance to upgrade it. How long have we got? Three months. It's plenty of time. Are we going to teach these people how to read? Use some service to carry my books. Yes, he's an arrogant villain. Even though the other one had a better success, this is okay. Shit, I don't think we're going to get there, are we? 60% chance that we quote the classics and prove how good we are compared to Robin. Come on. Almost there. Come on. Nice. Come on. There's a medium chance to upgrade your education trait. We're almost there. Become more successful. Boom. We've hit level two. Is that enough? Knowledge is power. <gasps> you gain the trait Exalted Warlord. You gain two martial lifestyle perks. A lot of gold with invested mind round pressure. Books been Chris Marshall by one. Holy crap. We lost the trait. Brilliant general. Look at this. And we got another book about warfare. My god. Exalted warlord. Wow. At the age of 16. Marshal plus 10. Stewardship plus 3. Army movement speed plus 20%. 50% extra siege weapon effectiveness. 50% extra martial lifestyle experience. 25% to stewardship as well. And the book on top of that is another 10%. Oh my god. That's amazing. What happens if you get the highest one? Then very high chance to upgrade your education trait and just extra perk points. Damn. I can't believe we pulled that off. Holy shit. Everything is coming perfectly full circle here. Everything is falling into place. It, it, it It's all hitting those right notes. Best uh, training outcome for the prowess. The best education outcome followed by the best university outcome. Obviously not the best university outcome, but the best, what I wanted. Okay, so we missed out on a perk or two, right? Stalwart leader, absolutely. I'm going to put you in every tournament and you are going to be an unstoppable beast of a man. Courtship. And in fact, if we go to promising prospects, we could probably find this kid a very high marriage as well. It's not that long until I get another trait, especially not if we throw on that other book. What have we got here? What, what, what's, uh, what artifacts have we got equipped? Um, this one is plus one entry, plus one learning. Spouse opinion, plus 15. Someone else is broached. Stress gain minus 10%. We'll keep the stress gains because he's paranoid. Um, yes, study about warfare. So you get 15% from that one, 10% from that one. Of course, 50% from his education. Another, what, 15% from our Castellan. Another 10% from being on our Leaders Council. Jesus. Oh, 20% from being on our Leaders Council. This is spicy. Generational belligerence. Now, this was already chosen as the Cargill Dynasty legacy when we first when we first started the game. This kid is very heavy warfare. What else have we got here? Stormlander, I think, is quite appropriate for him. Customs activities, traditional weddings. Certainly the um field of cloth and gold would be very, very appropriate for this kid. We would not see that for generations upon generations. Generational belligerence. <sighs> heavy on warfare. Traditional weddings. Ooh. I think I like the idea of the activities the most because they really give a lot of depth to the characters. That just gives us, what, pursuit efficiency, 15%, retreat losses, minus 15. It's very good. It's very good. The cast's ballet cost is more or less irrelevant at this point in the game. Um, martial life not experience up by 10%. Less likely to die from battle. Have a higher chance to gain prowess. That's interesting. Private army is very good. I remember the house cards being uh, being very, very good. Scribe traditions is is not bad. Honestly, I think this gives us more to play with. Better. No, I went for fucking customs. No, I clicked the wrong one. Damn you. To be fair, still makes perfect sense for the character because he did study a language. He's the only member of this dynasty that has learned another language. Sorry, I meant to pick activities there. That's on me because I thought they gave us more stuff to do. We will stick with that one. This is certainly not bad, though. Come on, one additional turn without penalties. Ooh. We'll have to pursue that. We'll have to do something with it. Clearly, this kid is very well educated. Totally on me. My bad. My bad. Misclick. It happens, okay? It doesn't, doesn't matter too much. Soft rumor of the river we've been following for a while becomes stronger now. Does it? Ah. Uh, 
No. Can we not fight this man? This is a toll bridge. Who do you think I'm talking to? I am the Lord. Intimidate the bandits. Absolutely, you intimidate the bandits. A duel demanded. Uh, you'd be less valuable after you win. Kick his ass. Very nice to see. We're going through King's Landing now. Look at that. Yeah, hello there. Nice to see you. Kingdom of the Reach. You win the fight. Kingdom of the Seven Kingdoms. And experience in traveling. I don't think I've ever got that traveling tray all the way to the top. Should probably do more with that, huh? And here we are. What the hell are we going to do now that we are this exalted warlord? Um, certainly, there's an argument for swallowing up all of these... All of these titles. What about the Kingdom of the Crownlands? Is that possible to form? Belongs to you. I wonder if I could usurp that. Not a usurp title belonging to your liege. But maybe I could petition him for it. Maybe there's a way we can grab that. Obviously, as head of the house, we can... Are we still head of the house? Is probably a better question. Claim title. Yes, we can. Okay. Okay. And then as a warlord, this kid would absolutely be able to unify the Seven Kingdoms, huh? Holy shit. Well, forget all that for the time being. I think we need ourselves a grand tournament, if you don't mind. I've been Rosby, of course, because we get that discount. Let's go melee. Let's go archery. Let's go joust. Really, we should focus on certain skill sets, right? That gives foot and horse. I think wrestling gives foot, right? So we've got wrestling that gives foot. We could go uh, jewel that gives foot. Or we go horse, which gives horse. Honestly, I think foot is more useful overall. Jewels. Yeah, there you go. A melee, a joust, a jewel. Or even we could swap the joust out and we could just go all in on the foot. Yeah, I can, I can, I can fuck with that. I think that's probably the best way to go with it. Because then in the future tournaments, we're pretty much guaranteed to win certain events if we train specifically that aspect, right? Um, do we want to wait and send it if we go full send on the prizes? I think I probably do. I think I probably do because I've I, we're winning this one. We're winning this one. That is absolutely the plan. Don't you worry. Train for a tournament. Yes, please do. Chance of us becoming strong from this. If we get strong too, that would really just be the cherry on the cake. Okay, good training. That's all right. That's all right. These things happen. Just keep that on the, on the back burner. And then let's get some money going, huh? You can ask your head of faith for... Oh, entrenched regency. Dismissed with the wave of a hand. Is callous and impatient. Get rid of her. Okay, much better. Let's not worry about the alliances right now, because, again, we could potentially do some big alliance stuff when we get that final martial Pope, which isn't going to be very long. What will you give us? Dark Harrow, I don't really want. It's quite far away. Where's Black Sound? The uh, Reach, right? All the way over here. No, thank you. And then what else have we got? Sunnyvale. Where's Sunnyvale? Also in the Reach, right? Um, yeah, not really about that, thank you. Those are fine, but I'm all right. Just save up some money. Save up some money. Have a big old tournament, and this time we win. We do the thing that... Oh... We do the thing that our father could never do. But who's the lord to spend time at sea with the salty air in his face in a fine vessel beneath his feet? Today he sees my personal craft and small escorting squadron out for drills, practice, and pleasure. The short voyage has been an exhilarating change of pace from life at court. When we spot it, a distant plume, followed by a small island of wine-dark flesh rolling out of the waves. A whale. Oh. Let the others handle it. Bring me the carcass. Creature of fierce and majesty, leave it. Or get the harpoons. This kid would absolutely get the harpoons. 99% chance that we slaughter the whale. And that whale pays for my damn tournament. Let's do it. Let's do it. Back to Rosby. So, we would say melee and then a, uh, a duel. And then... What was the other thing I said? Wrestling, I think. I think it probably was, right? Wrestling. There you are. Foot, foot, foot. All the way down. Let's go big on the prizes. Because we're going to win it anyway. Trust me. And then our champion, Becco. Becco's been very good. I like Becco. Let's go with Triumph. Don't need to hire the Mountaineer, thank you. And then let's go. Grand Tournament. Then we've got to start saving up for possibly a Grand Wedding. We might not need it. You're not qualifying for the melee contest. What the hell are you talking about? We're close. Waiting for the melee to begin. Okay, immediately hit the tournament grounds. We'll open in a few days. Hello, yes. Goodbye. Get rid of your wife. Okay. No time to lose. Let's get to it. I see Oswin striding before me, briefly, uh, and I briefly close my eyes in dismay. When I open them again, he's right in front of me, fixating me with that forced smile and ill guises a glare. Robin Rick, my lord, how wonderful to see you. He grabs me by the arm and walks us away from the crowds to conspire. Look, I need a favor. This facade nearly cracks, I roll my eyes. I want to do well in the contest. I'm one of your most powerful and loyal vassals. I wonder if I could count on your assistance. Ah, <sighs> Pockets do feel a little empty as of late. Do you, Oswin, anything? Or you have to fend for yourself. My pockets do feel a little empty as of late. You lose five stress because you're impatient. Sure. 
There you go. Nice to see it. We've pretty much already qualified. Oh, seven lords and one king arrived in Rosby. Oh my god, King Knowles comes to visit. And we've gained a level of glory already. This kid is nuts. Look at the guest. 277. Oh, well, this is going to be quite difficult then, isn't it? Can we sort by prowess? Who's at the top? Oh, God. We are not even in the top 10. How in the fuck? Lord Lucifer the Handsome. 46, 43. What are we, 38? Damn. Oh, we would be here. Right, so we would be in the top 10. We would just be below Lord Vic on there. Interesting. Okay. We can go to the artisan courses. I do want to guarantee we're going to qualify. Let's go to the tournament grounds again. Leah joins the tournament. Ah, oh, hello. A great band of knights, so they want to pass me. One straggling behind the rest, I make pause. Spinning on my heel, I call after the figure. They're clad in shapeless, ill-fitting armor. Their eyes wide and clearly terrified beneath the helmet. Something isn't right. Standing before them, uh, I notice none other than a woman. Dressed as a knight, no less. Planning to compete as a knight, even. That is terrible. I mean, he's callous. Guards, there's a woman in our tournament. You're getting 27 stress because you're paranoid and paranoid. I could do with someone with the services like you. You're getting stress because we're paranoid. I keep it secret. You're getting stress because you're paranoid. So either way, we're getting paranoid. But this guy is a callous villain. There is a woman! Big gamer behavior. I'm a fan of that. Okay. <laughs> so we are guaranteed to qualify. Let's go to the artisan quarters then. See a gentle flicker of the flames from the other side of the road. Their warmth wraps my body in a familiar embrace. Can I be of help, my lord? Can you show me an expert technique? Or can you improve remise? Gains plus two prowess, but we are terribly paranoid. So we don't... Oh, God. Either way, we're going to break down because of the paranoia. <sighs> He's impatient. This is paranoia versus impatience here. He's impatient to win, so let's take a shortcut. Improve my sword. Overwhelmed by stress. That's okay. Was that stress level two? Oh, God. Irritable. Yes, that suits him perfectly. I'm I'm happy with irritable. We are still stress level two. Oh Lord above. Um Lash out, get that on Get that on the back burner. There's a problem with playing this uh very paranoid man who wants to wants to be the best like no one ever was. I think we're asking for a lot of trouble here. We don't think we're gonna be able to get there again. Six days until it begins. Oh no, absolutely we can. Two, one. Back to the arts and quarters. Oh, Lord. A sabotage fellow contestants. Hello. Interesting. Uh, they are all passionately orating Lady Amiria. I hope that's not a euphemism. Seems to be listening intently. Strength of arm is important, but more important is the strength of mind, she laughs. Becoming a skilled tactician involves listening to the failures and successes of others. What a waste of time. Or well, this will help me in the upcoming contest. Ah. Uh, I think I learned a little something. You don't have to worry about the martial life stuff. Style experience. Score increases moderately. Yeah, let's go with that one then. That seems good. We do want to win. So we'll listen to what she has to say. Progress to victory. 48%. Glory will be ours. Becco and Robin Rick. This is, a, this is going to be a showdown for the ages. So we've got Roland Connington, 28. Or uh, Cameron Grandison with 25. They're worse than us in both ways, aren't they? Um... Who are we looking at as the biggest threat? Luther the Mad. Luther must be pacified. 45% chance of sabotaging him. Oh. I sort of sabotage Lord Luther's armor before the melee continues, weakening the leather points so secure that the, uh, the components in the hopes that they wear through. My patience finally pays off. I make the switch without arousing suspicion and made off into the night. Come morning, I'm relieved to find there's no whisper of my machinations. Good work. Because I think he was absolutely a threat. Exhausted, I stagger into the austere comforts of refuge. What is going on with that texture there? That's very strange. Uh, <laughs> I spy a few of my teammates restoring themselves. I understand it's a, it's a painting. It's a matte painting. It's not a, not a, not a texture. Uh, American Oswell watched the cellar with some hope while John Foe cheerfully mumbles something about a speech. What do you think? We go over to the cellar, we buy some food for our people, or we give them a good speech, 36% chance, or leave them to it. Um, the team score greatly increases for 85 gold. It's worth the money. I don't think it was worth the money, to be honest with you. Stand back, these three are mine. A 43% chance of taking three of them out. 99% chance that we catch them all unaware. Oh my god, if we could pull that off, that would be legendary. 43% chance, we're going to take the gamble. I'm warning you now, I'm going to take the gamble. Did we do it? 
I don't think we did it. I don't think we gained any... <gasps> you single-handedly triumph over all three. Your score increases immensely. You gain 250 prestige. A legendary. We will win a soldier's victory. Boom. Send it. Martial and prowess check. One more push. Please tell me we won. Did we win? We actually won. We actually won. You complete your triumph intent. You lost 36 stress. We won it. Holy shit. Well done, squad. Melee, Victor, you will receive a prize when the grand tournament concludes. Yes, we bloody will. A little bit of money back. Very good. 150 prestige. Oh, you see, it's what our previous character never could have done. You're close to qualifying. Let's get out there then. Uh, oh, God. Score increases slightly. I don't have time for this. Yeah. Okay, there you go. We are now guaranteed to qualify. We'll probably head back to the artisan quarters. Just use whatever we can to get a bit of victory going here. Okay. What a magnificent work he's done. I hear a knight say proudly, leaving the workshop, shimmering like a blade that reflects a crystal, uh, the sun, like a crystalline lake. I push the door open. I'm greeted by a bursting flame. Are you going to compete like that? The weaponsmith asks, pointing at my Rumiage 2.0 that hangs from my belt. Make it deadlier. Sharpened blade, prowess plus one. But only last for the tournament. Inscribe a prayer. Gives a bit of piety. Uh, I wanted to say mess with the honk, get with the bonk. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great thing to inscribe on a sword. Mess with the honk, get the bonk. Uh, plus one prowess for the tournament, though. Oh, it's good, though, isn't it? Go on, make it deadlier. Make it deadlier. The, the idea of inscribing that on a priceless piece of Valyrian steel is so goddamn good. A noble's blood, Howard voice rings out, startling me. I blimp through the gloom to where he stands hungrily, brandishing a glinting dagger. All I need is the smallest splash of noble blood to quench the blade. This will be the finest weapon ever made. Um, we will become wounded. We will either gain solid blade or bloody blade. What nonsense. Oh, it's a gamble, isn't it? I would be too worried about my Valyrian Steel. I am worried about the Valyrian Steel, and this kid's paranoid, so absolutely not, not go with that. Okay, are we have we got time to do anything else? Sadly not. That is it. Okay. You will face Lord John. Not for long, I won't. Uh, concentrate on the fight. Well, talking was always a strength of mine. Try and distract him with your words. No, you know what? Lose stress because you're honest. Yeah, I suppose he's not hes not particularly deceitful, is he? He's evil, but that doesn't mean he is deceitful. Something I've got to try and keep in mind. Uh, a screeching chorus of metal on metal rings out as the two blades scrape down each other's length, sparks glistening as they fall to the ground. Look for advantages. Thinking back to when I was considered distracting my opponent with words. The duel is so close, the victor could be either of us. Remember my training, prowess and martial. Um... C call him scared. Prowess and diplomacy. One final bluff might decide this for intrigue. Or come on then, let's fight. Just prowess. Always go prowess and marshal. This kid's a brilliant general. Do it. And you know what? I think we just kicked his ass. We absolutely did. Good start. We're not out yet, though. So we've got to do two more, right? Victory. Good work. Okay, we're going to fight uh, Lord Amon Mertinus. He has 27 prowess. Actually, I, I, I can do this. You're right. Streams of commoners and nobles alike plot to the contest grounds, vying to secure a good view of the jewel. A horrendous groan pierces the excited above. A stand overloaded with spectators gives way with a crash. Its mass of screaming victims are sent tumbling from the view. Oh, God. Execute the builders. Oh, dear. Um, or, sometimes calamity cannot be avoided. Oh, it is the brief we must look to. You're callous. Execute the builders. Execute the builders. He's a callous man. My blade clashes with that of my opponent, Ammon. Spark flying as the two weapons great. We step back circling. Uh, Ammon swings at me. The sword's point thudding into the ground as passing, uh, as after passing by my body. Quick as a viper, I step back and kick it as hard as possible. Rip from his grasp. Ammon's sword cartwheels through the air to both of our horror, landing amongst the crowd. A shrill cry pierces the air, and we both hurry to see Maria on her knees. The sword having impacted directly into her arm. Um, well, no time to lose. Yes. Keep going. Keep going. No, no time to lose. He's a callous man. He wouldn't care about someone in the stands. Remember your training. Oh, did we lose? We lost! Are you joking? God damn. He cheated. Disqualified. I would not. Would we? You're not that bad. Callous, paranoid, and impatient. I don't think... He's not arbitrary. Damn. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I thought we had that in the bag. 
I really did think we had that in the bag. Oh, just an unlucky roll of the dice. Then these things do happen on occasion. That's okay. Fine, Constance, he actually won the whole thing. Have him killed. As always, next time. Now we've got a little wrestling to attend to. Uh, shit. These aren't helpful. Disgusting. Yeah, go away from them. Oh, we've got to qualify. I wanted to go back to the artisan course to see if he could do something good for us, but we've got to go back to the tourney grounds first, I'm afraid. Okay. Uh, some bandit camp. Don't embarrass your host. Out with these troublemakers. Your scoring increase is minutely. Lord Allen and Lord Darmold are expelled. Well, that could be good because they could be they could be quite powerful. Kick them out. We're close to qualifying. Still not enough. Oh shit. Okay, this is problematic. Eight days. We're, we're gonna miss it. Oh, we did qualify. Thank God. I am ready. I am ready. That would have sucked if we missed that. I have you now. Get him. Good start. That liver looks horrible. Punch him in the liver. In the liver. Yes, we won the first round. Okay, there you go. We don't need to read these. It's just flowery descriptions of two men fighting, shirtless, naked, sweaty. Victory. We knocked Lord Othan out. Goodbye, Lord Othan. The hell is this man? Oh, God, a treacherous cell. He's carved the seven-pointed star into his head. Man's a lunatic. I can do this. Uh, oh. Dust puffs up around his body. As he falls backwards into the dirt. I'm winning this fight and everyone knows it. Amidst the cacophony, Bryce drags himself to his knees and outstretches both of his arms. Enough. I've had enough. No more. Bryce fears me. Uh, never challenge me again or you should be proud of your fight, Lord Bryce. No, we're callous. Fuck you. Get out of my way. That liver looks vulnerable. Punch him. Okay, very good. I presume we won? Didn't pop up with the screen. You know, the, the fancy screen. Right then. Uh, I disengage from a brief clinch with Oswell. I catch him by surprise and grab him by the neck. Completely unprepared, his neck audibly cracks from the impact, causing him to scream in panic. The crowd are up with raccoous cheers uh, that quickly died down to whispered confusion as I loosen my grasp. The moment my arm made contact, a sickening pop signal not all is well, and the pain juddered through my finger and confirmed some manner of dislocation. Oh, you thought you'd broken his neck, but we hadn't, sadly. Well, there's only one thing for it. Pop the finger back into its joint. I think my other hand I might be able to win this. I'm injured. I must concede. G you've got to take the gamble, right? Score decreases slightly. Score decreases moderately. Oh, God. Go. Okay. Go for the safer bet. Punch him in the liver. I think we've won it. Two out of three isn't bad. Two out of three isn't bad. We, 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 we lost in the duel, which I think was purely an unfortunate roll of the dice because we actually could have, we could have done something with that. But we've done it. There you go. Wrestling competition won. And here we are. The sun comes down on the final day of the tournament. The mass crowds begin to disperse. I find myself ruminating over the results. My team carried the day in the melee. I was an indomitable opponent and took the first place in wrestling. Lord Ammon's superiority with the blade had them take home the prize in the duel. Fulfilled my goal of winning a contest. Um, what a great occasion. We get prize scepter and we get prize armor. Nice. We actually got the only the rewards I wanted. What would we have done with the spear anyway? Sold it. Again, a thousand prestige. Has to loot our experience. Dynasty Cargo gains 75 renown. Glory Hounds are happy. Rosby gets a bolstered garrison. All attending knights get a massive opinion on that type of thing. Um, try and give a speech. Try and give it a speech. Yeah, do it. The words bring you some acclaim. Very well done. And that's it. Happy with that. Happy with that. Good outcome, really. Oh, Noel died. Did he die in the tournament? <gasps> he did die. Oh, not in our tournament, though. Though he was at our tournament. We didn't have a joust. Maybe it was during the melee. Right? Because that's... You, you get on your horseback during that. Oh, dear. Um, should we lash out in, in victory? Scream at someone? Who, who are we shouting at? We're shouting at this child. Good work. Good work. Shout on that child. Make yourself like feel like a big man. Great work. Honestly, I'm, I'm happy with today. Promising prospects means that tomorrow we can immediately start pursuing some good marriages. We got some armor. It's not amazing, but it's plus four prowess, which I'm happy with. And then I thought we got a prize scepter as well. Did we not actually get that in the end? Prize scepter. Oh, it's a trinket. Oh, it's a trinket. Okay. Um, domain tax is plus 1%. Uh, I think I'm good. The intrigue, the learning, the stress gain negatives, they're more valuable for now. We could always sell it. Right? I guess so. I'm not really bothered by it, though. Oh, well. We're okay. We're okay. I, I can find someone to buy it. Maybe maybe our liege will want to buy it. Hold on. Hey, you want to buy my... You want to buy my prize scepter? We'll not accept it. We can't afford it. He's got... Oh, no. Why can't you afford that? It pays nine to you. Full price of 180 exceeds the short-term budget. Oh, how odd. I guess he just isn't interested. Maybe because he's a child. Whatever, it doesn't matter too much. 
What a great start for this kid. 17 years of age. One of the best military generals in the realm. One of the best fighters in the realm. Best education outcome. Won two out of three parts of a grand tournament. I'm happy with that. The downside we've got right now is, of course, stewardship, which we can resolve with a a hefty marriage from somewhere. Really, we should go with alliance power. Arwen Tully. That's interesting. We do get an alliance with the Tullys as well. Is that your primary as niece? Okay. House Tully. That would be a big marriage, wouldn't it? Hmm. A bit of an age gap. You'd have to wait quite a few years, but that's not terrible. Wow, that's a good alliance to have as well. Do you think we send it? Or what if we try and find an alliance with a grand wedding? Oh, well, it gives us basically everybody at that point. Okay, fair enough then. Okay, so by alliance power. Uh, other more valuable members of House Tully. Really, we should start looking for some sort of inheritable traits. Start building the dynasty back up in the long term. Be kind of ideal, but do we really need the alliances? I'm not sure. Hey, give me some feedback in the comments. What should we go for with regards to that alliance? Because I'm not sure whether the troop count is really super relevant when we've already got uh, ties to so many of these great houses. We've got the Rock basically waiting to sign a um, sign an alliance, right? Which we might be able to do. Minus 83. A hook, some gold, win him over. Shit, maybe even take that perk that makes them more likely to accept that. I'm not sure. Either way, we'll find a way to get around that. Finally, of course, thank you all for joining me. I would consider today... Got an absolute success. Basically the best outcome. The, the outcome that I wanted and the best outcome possible for the character. It's going to be a very interesting guy. Lots of years ahead with somebody with a tremendous amount of potential. My God. Thank you, of course, to the patrons for allowing me to produce all of this content in the first place. Thank you to Shatner's Bassoon, Dexter Lowe, Harpio, Space Soap, El Zilcho, Necrophilin, A Bomb, An Abominable Bull, Abomination, a Snow Dog TW, Mooncake, Cosmosenti, Charkagaski, Jai, Anthony Fackenthal, Commissar Fox, Pun Lord, I Love You Too Much, Chun Chingo, Desi, Todd Howard, Snow Lauger, A Random Fur, Evran, Talia, Acolyte of Arcadius, Opossum Supremacist, Brockman Toast, and Dranmere for their support at the executive producer tiers on Patreon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you're enjoying some Crusader Kings 3 Game of Thrones. Thank you as well to Cindersind, Safati, Kung Smog, Crozzy, Sakosa, Mithridates, Ineffective Gravara, Blaticus, Rave Pirate, Tsubasa, Pimpek, Zelif, Evan Stockdale, Betsmus Max, and Juice Tin as well. Goodbye.